So I was the uh, Irish Funner and I'm starting to make a video. I'm uh, I'm outside for a change. I'm, I'm sort of running out of ideas, so I think it's good to just uh, mix things up a bit. And uh, my topic for today's video is um, why the word sorry should be removed from the English dictionary. I think it's a pointless word. So many people just use it all the time to get out of trouble and it doesn't mean anything. They just keep doing the same thing again and again and they just say sorry to get themselves out of trouble. And to me, I think this word sorry is uh, useless. I think it's more important is um, if you uh, don't do it again, basically. Um, like I remember uh, just over a year ago when I was in college, some guy just came coming in late and he said my apologies all the time. And uh, I don't think that's um, good enough because he's just always late. Better off just say nothing and then be on time the next time and not late again. So yeah, I think it's a pointless thing. Um, uh, I mean, to me it just means nothing. It's just a word to get yourself out of trouble. I think I've mentioned that already. Um, Right, I came inside to do a bit of research, but um, the not very. I don't know. There's gardeners coming in. I don't really agree with having gardeners coming in. I think you should do it yourself. If you have having someone else do that work for you, and, oh, it's hard to hear now because of it. Anyway, yeah, we're taught to say sorry a lot, and it seems to be words get out of trouble. I said that before, but yeah, like it's almost like we're trained to just say sorry whenever, to dodge the bullet if you like getting less trouble. I think that's just ridiculous. I mean. When people say the word, uh, I don't think teachers or anyone should teach, try to make anybody say sorry. They should just um, uh, keep in mind that they did something wrong and see if they actually are sorry, see if they actually don't do it again. Because though that word can just roll off your tongue and, you know, it's just, some, it's almost like a habit more than real meaning, a real apology, I think. And reading here somewhere online says that, uh, Alright, um, um, uh, here we go, I'm not sure if you can see that, so saying sorry kind of, or refusing to say sorry can be good for your self-esteem and it's almost like a guilt thing, you say sorry as a form of guilt, but Try to read more now. Uh, I've just read some more, and uh, here it says um, when you're saying uh, sorry, you're, you're, it means that you're admitting fault, but you're not concerned with the lasting damage. And it's like you're sorry, but I don't really care much about it. Just get over it. Saying I apologize is more of a proper apology than just sorry. And um, I've done some reading online saying that the way it's presented also means something. But at the same time, you can still make it a lie. If you say, I'm sorry, and you try to sound all um, sincere about it, but you're, you actually do it again in the future, then really it's just um, a lie, really. So I don't really think it's about how you say it. I think it's just about not doing it again. If you say, I'm sorry, and it just sounds like you don't mean it, but you do mean it, and you don't do it again, um, or even try to make up for it in some way, I think that's that's the thing to do. Reading uh, some more. Uh, stuff online and lines not great here but anyway it says when you uh, really want to apologize the step is one take accountability for you part in it I think that means your part in it so um, yeah take full ownership of the wrong that was committed um, I don't use the word but yeah I see that there Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but that just doesn't that just doesn't work. That's not real apology. And um, acknowledge the hurt you caused. Yeah, say, you know, I know I hurt you. Know, uh, I apologize because that means you. It means something. You should make it seem sincere. But you know, you have to back that up in the future with actions. I think. Um, explain how you feel um, and how you imagine that they when it, they felt when it happened. Yeah, uh, yesterday when I made a sarcastic comment about work ethic, I was wrong. Yeah, something like that. Um, uh, but uh, despite all this, I'd say the number one thing is just back it up. Yeah, I've already mentioned this. I'm repeating myself because I know it's hard to. It's just hard to come up with all the uh, new stuff and not repeat yourself. You know, you have to 
dig into different topics, can't be doing the same thing all the time. That's what I'm trying to do as a YouTuber. I'm trying to come up with new ideas and yeah, yesterday I made a funny video. You might have seen it. Um, I um, I tried to make this type of video on how the word sorry is useless and it was me just, I was just thinking about this when I was in bed. I woke up, I tried to make the video, but I was just too tired and too relaxed. I think, yeah, it's good to be relaxed but in a YouTube video, but you know, there's you can't go over if you're so relaxed that you're just not alert or you just feel slow and lazy then that's that's too relaxed uh so yeah stay alert uh stay enthusiastic and uh this is the irish fun runner and uh, i am finished for this is my video for today see it